Welcome back to MathMind. In today's video, let's take a look at a sample question from the Math Olympiad competition. In the following question, we're given the value of a fraction is equal to 1. From there, we are trying to find the value of another fraction where each of the components of the original fraction is taken to the cubic power. Just by looking at the first fraction, we know that a is not equal to 0. And from the way these two fractions are structured, we notice that we can actually flip them in order to make the process of simplification easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip these fractions around. What I have now is a cube, I'm sorry, a to the 6th power minus 27a cubed plus 1 over a cubed. From there, I can simplify them and turn this into a cubed minus 27 plus 1 over a cubed. And I can rearrange the expression on the right by turning this into a cubed plus 1 over a cubed minus 20. 7. We notice that a cubed plus 1 over a cubed can be conveniently expressed as, as the sum of two cubes. I'm going to rewrite this part right here as a cubed plus 1 over a cubed. From there, I can make use of the formula that we all learn in school and express this as a plus 1 over a multiplied by a square minus a times 1 over a plus 1 over a square. From here, this will cancel. So what I'm going to end up with is a plus 1 over a multiplied by a square minus 1 plus 1 over a square. Next, we are going to flip the first fraction that we are given in the question. Originally, we are given a over a square minus 3a plus 1 is equal to 1. If I flip the fraction around, what I have is a square minus 3a plus 1 over a. And on the right-hand side, obviously, 1 over 1 is still equal to 1. Now, if I simplify the left-hand side, what I'm going to end up with is a minus 3 plus 1 over a is equal to 1. Let's simplify this further. I have a plus 1 over a is equal to 1 plus 3, which is equal to 4. I'm going to call this my equation 1. From here, let's take a square on both sides. So what I have is a plus 1 over a square that's equal to 16. Opening up the bracket on the left hand side I have a square plus 2 multiplied by a multiplied by 1 over a plus 1 over a square is equal to 16. This part right here again will cancel so what I have now is a square plus 1 over a square is equal to 16 minus 2 which is equal to 14. Let me try to put all the pieces together and I'm going to copy what I have written down earlier. I have a cubed plus 1 over a cubed is equal to a plus 1 over a multiplied by a square minus 1 plus 1 over a square. From there, I'm going to rearrange this equation and write it as a plus 1 over a multiplied by a square plus 1 over a square minus 1. Based on what we have done previously, we know that a square plus 1 over a square is equal to 14 and a plus 1 over a is equal to 4. So let's just go ahead and substitute in the values. I have 1, I have a plus 1 over a is equal to 4. And a 
square plus 1 over a square is 14. Minus 1 remains the same. In other words, my a cube plus 1 over a cube is equal to 4 times 13, which is equal to 52. Again, let me copy down what I have written originally. I have a to the power of 6 minus 27 a cubed plus 1 over a cubed is equivalent to a cubed plus 1 over a cubed minus 27. Compare this with what we have. We know that this part is equal, is equal to 52. So in other words, my expression is equal to 52 minus 27, which is equal to 25. Keep in mind, this is actually the inverted fraction. What we are looking for is actually a cubed over a to the power of 6 minus 27 a cubed plus 1, which is then equal to 1 over 25. And that's the answer for today's question. I thank you for spending the time to watch this video. I hope you have a good day. Take care. God bless.